Welcome to this presentation of the eGranary Digital Library Knowledge Sphere. The eGranary Digital Library is like an internet in a box. This invention, which now contains over 10 million documents, is only going to grow for the next few years with more journals, books, software, tutorials, video, and audio. Attached to a local area network in places like schools, clinics, libraries, universities, and hospitals, it provides blazingly fast access to over 1,000 websites and CD-ROMs. The eGranary Digital Library looks and acts just like the Internet, but it requires no Internet bandwidth, so it's a very low-cost way to deliver information to people anywhere in the world. And it's a safe collection. There's no pornography, no popular culture, no viruses, just bona fide educational information that can be shared without concern with the whole community. What's in it? Right now, over 10 million educational documents, yet it's fully customizable and updatable. You can add community information and all sorts of local content, things like government documents and data, or multilingual educational resources of any type and health information targeted at special communities. You can do data collection through web forms. Local email and communication can be added so people can communicate easily with each other. And legal resources like court decisions and case law all put into the eGranary. Any amount and breadth of information can be added to the eGranary Digital Library to be shared with any community. In its typical configuration, the eGranary Digital Library is hooked up to a local area network, giving everyone on the local area network incredibly fast access to these millions of documents. There are children in schools in Africa with no internet connection who use the eGranary and open documents five times faster than students at major universities in the United States. It's very fast and very effective. Since it looks and acts just like the Internet with its own search engine, patrons gain the same skills that they need to be able to navigate all digital information. This knowledge sphere serves hundreds, even thousands of people on a local area network. Now let's take things one step further. Using wireless networking, we can extend this knowledge sphere to serve the whole neighborhood over a WiMAX backbone. Depending on how they are deployed, WiMAX networks can reach 10 to 20 kilometers. This way, it's possible to create a free wireless public library, a knowledge sphere, over the whole community or around campus so that anyone with a network device can tap into this knowledge. The knowledge sphere grows as government offices, clinics and hospitals, universities, schools, churches, mosques, private homes, even internet cafes connect to the backbone and share the connection with their neighbors. And everyone can connect. They can use whatever device they want. A new computer, a used computer, one laptop per child, a mobile phone, laptops, kiosks, pocket computers. In fact, what's really wonderful about this is that the organization providing the information doesn't need to provide the computers. The Knowledge Sphere model leverages local interest and infrastructure. A city or university might build a Knowledge Sphere and make it available to the surrounding community. As people under the Knowledge Sphere connect their own computers and handheld devices, each becomes an independently funded access point. The eGranary Digital Library Knowledge Sphere gives us the capacity to serve millions of educational resources to thousands of patrons at speeds that can be thousands of times faster than the Internet. So, what's the cost of the Internet connection in all of this? Nothing. More information about this innovation and the WiderNet project can be found at our website www.widernet.org. The WiderNet Project is a service organization based in the School of Library and Information Science at the University of Iowa.